Good morning, it's Tuesday, January 9th, 2024, and I'm in Robert Henderson's book again today, and the title of today's word is Causing God to Remember, and from Isaiah 43, 26, he says, Put me in remembrance. Let us contend together. State your case that you may be acquitted. So, in Causing God to remember. Reminding God, that's okay. Reminding God of his word. One of the main ways we present cases before the courts of heaven is by putting God in remembrance. We should tell him that he wrote in his book about us. What is our prophetic destiny that has been established before time began? See 2 Timothy 1 and 9. We take this purpose of God for our lives and present it as a case before his courts. When we do this, we are presenting a petition before him that allows a judicial decision to be rendered. This requires us to have a prophetic awareness of God's intent for our life. With this, we begin to ask him for what he planned for us before the earth was formed. Lord. What have you planned for me before the earth was formed? That's exciting. We also should ask that anything that would prevent this from happening to be revoked. As we approach the courts on this basis, we are presenting our case by putting him in remembrance and according to his purpose concerning us. Robert's prayer for today is this. Lord, as I come before your courts, I ask for clear prophetic understanding of what is written in your book concerning me. I ask, Lord, that my purpose for existing on the earth would be fulfilled. Would you please cause every resistance to the fulfillment of my destiny to be removed? Lord, I ask that every hindrance is taken out of the way and let all the things necessary for what is in your book concerning me be done in your divine order. Uh, exclamation mark. So, we can petition the Lord and ask him. We ask him for what was written. And he, he can show us what was written, what was written for us. And then, to ask, ask him to remove any hindrance. Now, we need to also be aware of what hindrances could be, you know, in the way of preventing um, what's written in his book from being fulfilled. And that is all over his word in the Bible. That's why we need to stay in the Bible and study it. Not just read over it, but really study it. And uh, walk in obedience, not sacrifice. My, Although we may sacrifice sometimes. My pastor's been saying since I've been at my church the last couple of years, Obedience is better than sacrifice. At first, I wasn't sure what that meant, but now I'm sure what it means. So, uh, Lord, I'm going to say a prayer for us today again. Lord, I pray that, uh, that we walk in obedience, God, that we be in touch with you constantly, consistently, and that we seek you for understanding what's written in our book by you before the earth was formed and to ask you to remove any hindrances and at any part that we play in those hindrances Lord you quicken our spirits God you help us know we help us know how where to change our ways God and how to come back in abeyance with you God and what your word says and that's where the blessing comes and understanding that your will for our lives specifically individually God so I do pray that everyone with an earshot of this message today, God, and this prayer today, God, be blessed, God. Be blessed with the knowledge of who you are, God, and what you've called each one to be and do. And make us hungry for your word. If we're not already hungry, make us hungrier, God. Ones that are hungry, make them hungrier, God. We love you, Lord, in Jesus' name, amen. Well, I pray that you have a blessed day today. And uh, you everything, do everything as unto the Lord. 
and that will make your day so much better.